guys, my name is Jazz and welcome to Jikoni Yetu. Today we're making a tray bake of chicken and veggies and this is an effortless meal for those nights that you crave a home cooked meal but you don't really want to spend that much time in the kitchen. Let's get started. I'm going to start off with some salt, drizzle this on my bulb of garlic. All I've done is cut off the top of the garlic. Next in, I'm gonna use my olive gold. I love the flavor that it adds to my veggies and to this garlic, it's gonna make it nice and moist as it cooks up in the oven. And then we're just gonna close this up and put it in the oven for 30 minutes until the garlic is nice and cooked. Our garlic is now ready after 30 minutes in the oven. So just open that up drizzle a bit of salt first over my chicken. My cooked garlic is going into the butter. I've, all I've done is melted the butter. Can you see that yumminess coming out? Just squeeze it all out. Use your fingers. I'm going to mix in some paprika and chicken masala into that. Give that a good turn. Smash down the garlic so that all that flavor can go into that butter. I'm gonna squeeze a bit of lemon juice into the mixture, just to give it a bit of acidity. I'm gonna use some olive gold over my veggies so that they can bake in the oven. I'm gonna drizzle some salt over my veggies just to give them a bit of flavor. And then finally, that nice, beautiful sauce is going to go all into the chicken. The beauty of this meal is that all the flavor from the chicken is going to run down into the veggies. And then I'm just going to use my hands and mix this all together. Make sure you coat the chicken everywhere so that all that flavor can go into the chicken. You can marinate this overnight if you want, or you can just make it instantly. Once the chicken is nice and covered, put it over our tray of veggies. And get all of those juices all over the veggies. Then we're gonna bake this in the oven at 180 degrees for 45 minutes and the tray bake is done and there you have it and this is a perfect recipe for whenever you have those leftover veggies in the fridge and you don't know what to do with them make this at home